Hello, everyone. Welcome to Clarity 16.0 support training. In this section, we will review the enhancements for status reports. The living status report is now available for ideas and custom investments. It was previously only available for projects. The status module includes the living status report with its ability to configure preview and publish in a PDF format. And as I mentioned, it's now available for ideas and custom investments. In the 1593 release, the status module was introduced for ideas and custom investments, but it was in the form of that common configurable grid to manage status reports without that ability to configure preview or publish in PDF. Um, the status module also includes a new latest attribute to indicate the most recent record by date combined with report with report status set to final. Why is this important? Well, we're all about driving adoption. And so ideas and custom investment users are expecting those same easy to use tools, such as that living status report, which was only available at the project level. And they want that at, for basically all investment types. So we're excited to get that in um, now that um, ideas, custom investments and projects each now share the same common user experience as it pertains to the status module. What's changed? So as mentioned, that status, status module for ideas and custom investments now includes the ability to configure report content, status report content that is, preview it, and publish it in a PDF format. Uh, there's two tabs there. Uh, from the current tab, the user configures that report content, does that preview, and publishes the, the PDF for the most current report. For, from the reports tab, that's where the user creates new reports, manages existing reports, or views previously published reports. The status module grid now includes the latest, check out the latest field, which indicates the most recent status report record. Latest is determined by the report date and the report status uh, set to final. So with the availability of the status module at the hierarchy level, right, that was a new addition um, last release, Investment managers can quickly determine the latest status report for each investment across multiple investments. So it's a real time saver. Okay, so let's take a look at the new living status report capabilities. I'm going to focus on a custom investment example, but the same capabilities are now available for ideas and projects. So let me come out of PowerPoint. Go back. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to focus on my common, the uh, custom investment examples. I'll come over here to investments, products, digital banking application. I'll land on the properties page as you would expect. Uh, you can see the status module has been configured via Blueprint. I'll go ahead and click on that. And if you're familiar with how um, the living status report works in projects. It's exactly the same capabilities have been instituted for custom investments and ideas. For example, I can select settings and um, I, you know, this is where I configure what elements I want to include in the status report. I come down to a task section I click uh, the configure area. I'll choose finish, close, and add that attribute to the grid. Um, I can use the drag handle here to reposition items, right? Fairly straightforward uh, behavior since we're, most of us are familiar with how projects behave. Um, I've got it set to where I want it. I can sit here and preview it. It's going to go behind the scenes and generate this PDF document, as you would expect. Uh, you'll notice that the right hand side here no longer includes that kind of running tally 
of previous versions of status reports. We've kind of cleaned that up and isolate that and I'll show that in a second. So at this point I could pick publish and make it the latest report, but I'm not gonna do that. I'll just kind of hit close and back out. And, you know, I mentioned that running list of status reports is not needed or visible in the PDF preview. It's right here on the reports tab. Um, and this has, you know, this was what was introduced in the prior release, but it didn't have any ability to do any, you know, anything to do with the PDF generation right or preview. I'm going to call your attention to the two columns here, the name, which is a link, and the latest. So latest, as I mentioned, is determined by uh, report date. Uh, you know, what's the, the latest report date or the newest report date based on a status of final. So that's... Uh, how that gets determined. I'll go ahead and click on that link here and it's gonna bring up the PDF. I don't need to generate it. It's already there. It's been stored in the system. You can see the publish button is um, uh, disabled because it's already been through that exercise. Uh, the other thing here is I can click on the link here for this most recent draft, if you will, and it puts me right back into, you know, kind of configure and preview mode which I just showed how to do that. If I was to publish at this point, it would become the latest. So that's the flag you don't manually set. It is set by the system. Okay, that concludes the demo of the updates to the status report for custom investments. As I mentioned, it's the same behavior for ideas and, and now projects also, all three of them share the exact same behavior there.